Hey gold friends, Jason here. I'm in the middle of moving. We just unloaded a 20 foot decan. Absolutely knackered. But I wanted to make this video for you guys because we all love gold and we love technical analysis. So let's do it. So let's uh, start the week off by checking in on our long term time frames. We're still inside this monthly equilibrium and it looks like we are starting <laughs> at least four days in to confirm our ugly reversal candle that we see here for the month of February. So what we expect to see after uh, weakness and indecision candlestick is going to be a red candlestick. And if we closed right about where we were, that would be good. We're aggressively moving. Um, so I'm not sure how we're gonna end up. Again, we're only four days into this candlestick, but this is sort of the, the thing that you expect to see in an equilibrium. And it looks even better if we go to the weekly time frame. let's do that. And we can see there's our weekly or monthly EQ as seen in the weekly format. And this is what I'm talking about. We get this long upper wick. This is a shooting star reversal pattern that we may have talked about. I don't recall if we talked about it in any other video, but when you're at the top of an uptrend, you start to see weakness. You get a shooting star pattern with a confirmation. This is a big confirmation on that. And we're currently sitting under EMEA 12. So if we close underneath this, that's going to suggest more weakness to come. And we know that we're in this monthly and weekly equilibrium, so more downside is expected. But let's jump to the hourly time frame and see what's going on here. We can see on our hourly chart, we are consistently setting lower lows and lower highs. Nothing's going to change until that does. What it's going to look like first is having the bulls are able to take EMA 12. And we can see that we closed over. Let's zoom in a little bit. We can see that we closed over our EMA 12, but we were rejected and it did not act as support. So we went right back under, retested it, confirmed it as resistance. So what needs to happen for the bulls to change this hourly trend is to close over EMA 12 and then carry that strength through and get a high above 1289.822. What that will tell us is that the bulls are now setting higher highs on the hourly time frame, and then we also need to come down and make sure that we're setting higher lows. What that will do, we'll change that hourly trend from the downside and turn it into hourly bull trend, which is really great. And then it will also help us on the four hour time frame here, where we're setting a tightening range here, and we can see that we're starting to carve out what might become the basis for a level of support. So move that volume out of the way. Those are the ranges that we're watching. We're going to continue this four hour downtrend if we set a new low, very possible. But we need to check out what these hourly bulls are going to do, and that will dictate how we look at the next 24 hours. So until then, I'll see you guys later.